Hi, you guys. Welcome back. And of course, if you are new to this channel, welcome. My name is Tracy Erickson, and this is video part two, all about how to read moles upon the face. And part two, we are going to uh, be looking specifically at the lower face. So any moles upon the eyebrows, eyes, cheek, nose, mouth, and jaw. So stay tuned. Physiognomy, or the reading of people's faces, has always been a subject that I've been very interested in, even before I knew that there was a word for it, like physiognomy. And so, for the better half of the last decade, I have spent my time trying to turn this face reading into something that is teachable or presentable to other people people so that maybe you all could also understand how to read moles and birthmarks upon people's faces. Um, now, in part one of how to read moles upon the face, we discussed the forehead and I showed you guys moles or birthmarks and their signification to man and woman by Maud Wheeler and uh, kind of went over a little bit from that book as well as all of the different lines upon the forehead and how they correspond with these seven planets that we can see with the naked eye up in our skies. But to read the moles upon the rest of the face, we are going to be taking a completely different approach. So in today's video, I'm actually going to be bringing up Chinese face reading to help us to understand the different areas of the face and what a mole or birthmark in those areas might represent. Now, if you haven't watched How to Read Moles Upon the Face Part 1, The Forehead, I will be sure to link that video for you right up above because there is some important information there regarding the colors and uh, the colors of the molar birthmark, as well as how they're shaped, such as are they bubbling up off the skin, uh, raised from the skin, and things like that. Uh, so if you haven't checked out part one, be sure to check that out as well, because it will help you to deepen your understanding of reading moles or birthmarks. The first thing I want to go over is the left versus the right side of the body. Now, I've seen it in a couple of different ways here while reading moles or birthmarks. And normally people are right-handed, and so therefore that is their dominant side of the body. And so generally speaking, the right side of the body or the face is going to be offering um, some type of insight in regards to what is good in life, what is positive, um, things that are happening in your life, most likely in more, you know, the future, so to speak. And when it comes to the left side of the body, that is the the dormant side, if you're not um, left-handed. And so the left side will speak more on maybe, maybe show more negative marking um, in some cases. But in most cases, it is my belief that if the mole or a birthmark is appearing on the left side of the body, it is more discussing your inner life rather than your outer life, which would be shown on the right side of the body. Now, when it comes to sides of the body, it's always been confusing to me specifically because I am left-handed. So I write with my left hand, I eat with my left hand, and I do all the things with my left hand. Um, so it's always a big question. Do I switch it or do I keep it the same from how I'm taught, right? But as with all of these different techniques and uh, spiritual practices that we do here on this channel, uh, such as tarot and palm reading and all those things, this is all up 
to how it feels for you. So when it comes to reading people's faces, you really have to tap into your intuition. Now, learning about this is definitely going to help you with tapping into your intuition as well. So let's just go over the different areas of the face and what the placement of a molar birthmark in those areas might represent. So starting with the eyebrows, <laughs> I'm going to first read all about eyebrows. And this is from an article on yourchineseastrology.com. And as far as Chinese face reading goes, here's what it says about the eyebrows. It says eyebrows are known as um, an organ of longevity, related to health, longevity, and in charge of fame, status, and luck with brothers and friends. And so, now, we'll take what we learned from the Chinese face reading and also what we've learned from reading about moles, okay? And so, let's just combine the two and discuss if you have a mole placed upon the eyebrows. Okay, so if you have a mole placed upon somewhere on your right eyebrow or near the temple, then that's going to represent good luck and success when it comes to fame, when it comes to friends, um, when it comes to your health and longevity, right? But if you have a mole upon the left eyebrow, um, you, you know, or between the brow and the temple, then that would indicate possible ill health. It could indicate that uh, you may have some false friends in your midst. And it could indicate that in general, um, you may not live as long as someone with a mole on the right side. Um, but that is all depending really also on the mole. So like I stated earlier, if you revert back to part one, where I discussed the color and composition of the mole, then you'll understand more and more about the placement of your particular mole upon your eyebrows. And now we'll speak about moles near, on or near the eyes, okay? Now in the Chinese face reading, it states, eyes are known as an organ of monitoring, right? So it's related to wealth and rank. Um, so, any moles that you may have placed upon your right eye obviously is going to indicate that you will have wealth or a high status in life in the long run. And if you have any mole upon your left eye, then that would indicate some type of um, maybe problem that you have in that area. So whether it's... Um, wealth or rank, I don't know, maybe you have some abundance issues or you have to come to terms with some things when it comes to how you make your money. Uh, or it could just mean that maybe you're someone who always desired a higher rank in life or higher status in life than what you already exist in. So I believe that a mole upon the opposite side, so on the left side of, on the left eye, um, it doesn't mean that you will not have a high rank in life or wealth. It means that you won't be satisfied with the rank or the wealth that you already possess. Does that make sense? All right. So moles on the eyes can be placed anywhere on the eyelids. So anywhere down below or above, right? So if you have any moles on either eye, it's going to have to do with that. And next, we will be talking about moles that are placed upon your nose. And so in Chinese face reading, it says... The nose is known as an organ of discernment related to wealth. So the nose is not only related to wealth, it is also somewhat related to your health. And um, so when it comes to any moles placed upon your nose, around the nostril area, or even the bridge of your nose, this is going to be discussing um, wealth and health in your life. Now, this is, as it states, an organ of discernment. So, if you have any prominent moles or birthmarks upon your nose or the bridge, um, then that simply means 
like we stated before, we have the right side of the nose or the bridge of the nose as well as the left. So if it's showing, if your marking is showing upon the right side, that's going to mean that you have used your discernment to gain wealth or you will use your discernment to gain wealth in your life. Now, this could also mean maybe you're going to marry well because um, if you are someone who enjoys wealth, um, then you may know how to find someone you can marry into the wealth, right? Um, now, if it's on the left, that's going to indicate, obviously, you might have some health issues um, or some type of illness that comes up in your life or you've had in your life. But it could also just mean, again, that you um, need to kind of work on your discernment. You need to build that within yourself. You need to learn how to discern what you want in life and um, how to understand um, basically how to go about getting what you want in your life. And now we'll talk about the mouth. So if you have any moles or birthmarks around your mouth area or even upon your lips. So let uh, that's what we'll be referring to for this part. And the Chinese face reading states that the mouth is known as the organ of entrance and is related to talent. All right. And now to me, I use my own discernment to also understand that it's not only related to talent. Your mouth is also related to communication and how you communicate to the world. So if you have a molar marking on the right side of your lips or mouth area, then that is going to indicate that you are talented and able to communicate your talent out into the world, right? You're able to um, basically to communicate your thoughts in ways that you want to clearly communicate. If you have a mole or birthmark upon the left side of your lips or mouth, um, that mole is probably going to indicate that you haven't really found your talent in life, or maybe it will be found later in life. And it could also indicate that you do have some work to do when it comes to communicating your ideas properly. All right. But remember to use your own discernment when it comes to the left and right sides. Because maybe you're left-handed like I am and you could flip the meanings here. But maybe you won't. So it all just depends on the dominant side of the body. And the cheeks. <laughs> the cheeks in the Chinese face reading are usually reflecting a person's fortune more between the ages of 46 and 47 in Chinese face reading. So, um, as far as the cheeks go, I believe that this fortune is actually referring to how fortunate your relationships are. Basically, if you're if you have any moles or markings upon the cheek area on the right side, that will indicate good fortune in relationships, a happy marriage. It will indicate all those good things. Now, moles placed maybe upon the left cheek area are going to indicate that you may have trouble with relationships or maybe you will become divorced and remarry, uh, possibly. But um, it could also just simply indicate that the fortune is more of an internal fortune. You know what I mean? So maybe people with moles or markings upon the left cheek are more likely to be more like a hermit or someone who is more comfortable going within to gain wisdom and favor in life. For the moles on the cheeks, I just want to kind of clarify. I'm going to read a couple of different meanings from the moles or birthmarks in their signification to man and woman book. Um, and we'll see exactly what Maude Wheeler had to say about moles or birthmarks upon the cheeks. And so it says here, a mole on the upper part of the right cheek denotes ingenuity, which will lead to wealth. The subject will be industrious and live long. If it's a woman, she will be greatly loved and happily married. Either subject will enjoy good health. A mole on the right cheek near the lobe of the ear, so somewhere down in this area, uh, near the lobe of the ear, announces money by marriage and a long life. <laughs> so that's a couple of examples of 
a mole on the right cheek. And then it says for the moles on the left, um, a mole a little above the lobe of the left ear, so somewhere in this area, announces troubles and difficulty to any subject. Um, so basically, like like we said before, the fortune fortunate thing, it's mostly to do with relationships. Um, and then the unfortunate, when it says trouble, it mostly just means trouble as far as, you know, maybe some conflicts in relationships throughout your life, things like that. Could be something that you could definitely learn from if that is the case. And finally, we're going to talk about moles or birthmarks placed upon the jaw or chin. So if you have any moles or birthmarks in the area of the jaw or chin, here's what Chinese face reading has to say about that area of your face. It says that the chin and jaw in Chinese face reading present one's uh, fortune trend in the later years between the age of 61 and 75. And any luck or fortune that you have with your children or people who are subordinate to you. So, of course, <laughs> if you have moles or birthmarks upon the right side on the jawline or somewhere upon the chin, uh, that will indicate that obviously you're going to have longevity because you have a mole upon your jaw or chin and it's referring to your later years, right? Um, but it's going to indicate good fortune when it comes to your family, your um, your children, and so on. Now, if you have a mole upon the left side or the opposite side of your face, then that could indicate, you know, it could just indicate that you don't have the best of luck with um, uh, maybe people listening to you, with people doing what you tell them to, because it does mention subordinates here, right? So it's not only your children, um, it could be that maybe you are a boss over people at work or something. Um, if you if you have a marking on the left side, you may recognize that people don't always listen to what you say. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just trying to come up with some examples. But I hope that makes sense to you when it comes to the jaw. But, you know, positive, negative, you could say outer life, inner life, um, and so on. So... It's, it's really all about your discernment. It's about tapping into your intuition and trying to understand these markings in whatever way makes sense to you. So for the cheek and jaw, let's go back to Maud Wheeler and see what she has to say about some different moles or markings upon the jaw. Um, it says here, a mole just below the right jaw announces to any subject a marriage with a person of higher social standing. It also says a mole on the right jaw indicates to a woman that she will marry the man she loves and he will distinguish himself. She will lead a happy life with him and have many children. Now, let's see what they say about the left. A mole on the left jawbone announces difficulties and anxieties and danger by water. To a woman, it also shows that her conduct will be open to grave censure and a violent death is probable. I know that sounds scary, you guys. If you have a marking there, you're probably not going to die a violent death. Um, now, it also says a mole on the left jawbone or left side of the jawbone shows much love of material pleasures in any person. Now, it does say here, I want to point this out about the jawbone as well from Maud Wheeler's book. It says, since the jawbones in any case Denote the amount of materialism developed in the subject. It is not surprising that a mole on the jaw should be regarded as indicative of a material love of enjoyment, as opposed to the spiritual and mental. So the lower portion of the face is in direct opposition to the upper, which represents the mental life of the subject. So that I thought was interesting as well. So if you have moles or markings upon your jaw anywhere, it is Maud Wheeler's understanding that those markings are always going to indicate a material type of uh, disposition rather than spiritual or mental. So I found that rather interesting as well. So let me know what you guys think about these 
uh, these down below. I want to know, do you have any moles or markings? Do you know any friends that do? And how can you compare what we've discussed today with the markings that you've seen on people's faces? Well, that about wraps it up for this video. So if you like this video, be sure to click that like button and share this video with all your friends out there who might be interested in reading moles upon people's faces. And of course, if you're a viewer but not yet a subscriber, I would just love for you to click subscribe down below. And once you have subscribed, you can then click the notifications bell so that you can be notified each and every time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching and spending your time with me. I love you and I'll see you next time. Bye.